Hello everybody. Okay, I've been asked to do a read on Mary Lane Carter. Um, she's 36 years old, mother of three, and wife of Reverend Adam Carter. I guess he's a Kansas City pastor. Okay. So, what I did look into is a timeline of her disappearance. Now, apparently she left Kansas City, um, her home in Overland Park, Kansas City. Apparently she left at 8.15 p.m. Now, from what I've read, her husband said that she went for a little nap on Saturday and um, she got up and she decided she was going to drive um, to where she was going. She was going to go, I'm just trying to find the information here. I think it was Birmingham. She was gonna take off and go to Birmingham. Let me just see here. Yes, okay, so she left Kansas City. She left the area of Overland Park, Kansas City going to Birmingham. Now apparently she had booked a plane ticket prior to Saturday, August 1st. And apparently she went on August 1st, she went for a little nap. She got up and decided she was going to drive. She wasn't going to fly anymore. I just got this information all over the place, people. So bear with me. <clears throat> so apparently she has not been heard or seen from since August 2nd. She vanished on her way to Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, so what I've done is I, I went for the timeline, okay? So she left Overland Park, Kansas, okay, at 8.15 p.m. Okay, the next known stop that she used any credit cards or anything was at a, ga um, at a motel that that night so august 1st she leaves oakland park kansas city at 8 15 p.m she books into a motel at 3 37 a.m at a motel in west plains missouri so 3 37 a.m now i looked on the maps if she left at 8 15 so eight that's seven hours later she books into this motel in west plains missouri now on the map it's only four hours away from her home so there's three hours unaccounted for okay now what happened in those three hours from the time she left at 8 15 p.m from overland park kansas city to the time she gets to West Plains, Missouri at this motel, that's seven hours later and it's only a four hour and 21 minute drive. So where's those three hours? What, what, what happened between Overland Park, Kansas City and West Plains, Missouri, that motel? Now, she books into the motel and here's another thing. These are a lot of red flags here. She only stays at the motel for like two hours two and a half hours because she leaves West Plains, Missouri and checks out at 8, 6.08 a.m. So she's only there for like two and a half hours. Okay. Now the next time she's seen, now, now we're into August 2nd. Okay. So she leaves August 1st at 8.15 at night. Past midnight, it goes into August 2nd. 3.37 a.m. She checks into this, this motel that only should have taken her like say four and a half hours, but it took her seven, so there's three hours missing there. Okay, she only stays at the motel for two and a half hours and she leaves. The next time she's seen is August 2nd, which is that morning, at a Shell gas station west of a Memphis, a Shell gas station of West Memphis, Arkansas. She used a card, credit card to fill up gas. Okay, now I believe that's only like. 
uh, let me just see here, another three hour drive, but she doesn't arrive there until around 8 p.m. So that's like 14 hours later. It's a three hour drive from the motel to West Memphis is only three hours, 12 minutes. But there's 14 hours between the time she leaves the motel and the Shell gas station in West Memphis, Kansas, where she fuels up. Okay. <coughs> Sorry guys. So she gets to this gas station at three hours. That's only three hours and two minutes away. It takes her 14 hours to get there. Okay. Three hours and 12 minutes from that motel to uh, the uh, the Arkansas way station on Interstate 55. That's only three hours and 12 minutes from that motel. She, when she left the motel, it, it the, her next known thing is 14 hours later in a three hour drive. Okay. And then from, from that way station, okay, near, near, um, and it, like the Interstate 55, it's near entering West Memphis. That's a three hour, 12 minute drive from the motel. But it took her 14 hours to get there from that motel. Okay. So that's another one. And then from, from the Interstate 55 where it's entering West Memphis at that way station, it's only another four hours to Birmingham from there. Okay. So from her home to Birmingham, Alabama is 11 hours, seven minutes straight driving. So we know she stopped. Okay. But she leaves the motel. Okay. Which is only four hours and 21 minutes from her home, but it took her seven hours to get there. And then from the motel to the last known ping on her phone, which is interstate 55 at that Arkansas way station entering West Memphis, which is only a three hour, 12 minute drive from the motel. It took her 14 hours. She should have long been, you know what I mean? She should have long been. So 24 hours and she's not even in Birmingham yet. She's just entering West Memphis. She's at the Arkansas way in station on Interstate 55. So that's like almost 24 hours because she left home at 8 15, 24 hours later, she's only at Arkansas way station entering West Memphis. What's going on? You know what I mean? And she's still four hours away from Birmingham. From her home to Birmingham should have only taken her 11 hour drive if she drove straight through. But being yes, she stopped, it still took her 14 hours to get from West Memphis, Arkansas from the motel, which is only a three and a half hour drive or three, oh, sorry, three hour drive. Took her 14 hours to get from the motel to that weigh-in station. I don't get it. Something's going on here, guys. Something is going on. So we're going to get into this read. Okay. And we're going to see what, whoops, that didn't work out so well, did it? We're going to look and see what we can get. Like I'm, I'm dumbfounded because it shouldn't have taken her that long. Especially a three hour drive taking her 14 hours. It's like, wow. Like what is going on there? Okay. So we're going to do a read. Just got to get her name here. I call her by her right name, Mary Lane. Okay, so that's the ancestors for the situation regarding Mary Lane Carter. Let me tell you what 
tell us what is going on, what has happened. I just don't get that. Okay, so the ancestors for the situation regarding Mary Lynn or Mary Lane Carter, 36. And she's now missing since last known sighting of August 2nd. That was kind of me that did that, so that's why I didn't keep it out, you guys. I'm asking the ancestors for the situation regarding Mary Lane Carter. What's going on with her? Okay. Okay. So what I'm getting is, this is the situation. Right off the hat, I'm getting something about an illness. Okay. I'm getting in this position that we got to look deeper into i'm getting something about an official okay and this position here is the main part of the situation this is the situation this is the main part this is what we got to look into deeper deeper and this is the secret okay and in the secret i got a snake so something about a snake okay so we're going to go in for the messages it's my ancestors for the messages regarding mary lane Carter, what's going on with her? She's been missing since August 2nd, 36 years old. Whoa, that was me, you guys, so I'm not gonna keep them out. Ancestors for to reveal the messages regarding Mary and Mary Lane Carter. Reveal the messages regarding Mary Lane Carter. Ancestors to reveal the messages. Whoa, see that's me guys, so I can't keep those out. My hands are really sore because I did a lot of weed pulling and gardening. So I'm very sorry about that. See, that was me again. Some messages regarding Mary Lane Carter. Now that one will stay out that one did fly out that wasn't me no there's actually two messages regarding Mary Lane. okay So here we go, we're gonna get into the messages, okay? So as you know, this is the main part of the situation. This is what we gotta look into deeper, and this is in the secret position, okay? So what we don't know yet, or what's not been released yet, what we haven't found out yet, okay? So right away at the head, I see suicide. Now, you guys know this doesn't have to mean a physical suicide. This can be telling me about somebody's mental health, okay? And being that I've got illness down here also, this is telling me that they're talking about somebody's mental health. They were sick. Okay. Now, I get the cheat card. Now, this can come out for many reasons also. And don't forget, um, a lot of people have been commenting on what they think the cards mean. The cards mean different things when they come out in di different situations. It all depends on what is around the cards what is with that card what position it's in and what my ancestors are are showing me to hit on okay 
So when I get cheat, I don't get like she was cheating or her husband was cheating. I don't get that with this, although in other reads I have. But with this, I feel like she felt like she had been cheated out of something. Okay. And I'm getting the thrown away. Okay. So I feel, I feel this is her. I feel this is speaking of her. I think, I don't like saying this, but when I get the illness and suicide card together in the main position, I'm not seeing harm anywhere else. So I'm taking this as somebody's mental health, okay? They had a mental health illness, okay? It's in the main part of the situation. I'm getting that she felt cheated. Now, I'm not getting that she was cheating or he was cheating, her husband, but she felt cheated out of something and she felt, to me, I'm getting she didn't feel worthy of something. She didn't, like, in other reads, when I get the thrown away, this means totally different things but what I'm getting right now and the feeling and what the message is from my ancestors is telling me she felt cheated in, in life somehow and she didn't feel like she was worth I get like she didn't feel like she was worth anything that she was disposable okay and this is her speaking this is her okay but I get something about an illness and I'm getting the suicide and when I, you get them together it talks about somebody's mental health she could be suicidal but I'm 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 also seeing an illness so I'm believing that this is a mental health illness of some kind <clears throat> okay so in in the secret position okay and don't forget this all connects too okay I'm getting something about a loved one and the dark, okay? When I get the dark card, this means some things have been covering up, okay? Things have been covered up by this loved one. So the information regarding her, maybe about this mental health thing that is going on, I don't think he wants to talk about it. Whoever this loved one is, I'm taking it as her husband, but this could be her kids, this could be her parents. But a loved one is trying to keep it hidden, okay? Like, it's to not tarnish her her reputation. They don't want people thinking of her a certain way because of this, okay? So, like, and, and the reason I say that and the reason I think this came out is because, you know, when, especially when an adult goes missing, um... Law enforcement sometimes thinks, okay, it's their own free will because there's not other factors surrounding it, okay? So I think, I think this, this loved one is trying to keep, especially people like that work in not so great jobs like prostitution and stuff like that, or people that have mental health issues, when they go missing, they're not treated the same I don't find and that's what I'm getting from this so this loved one is trying to keep that covered up about this mental illness or maybe that she was suicidal I think this person is trying to cover that up so she's not treated differently by law enforcement so that they take this seriously about her being missing okay and I'm getting something about a snake. So there's somebody here that is doing something fishy. Okay, that's being a snake. We all know what a snake is. So we're going to go in for clarification on these cards. I don't know if it's this same loved one that's being a snake about something, but there's a snake somewhere. Oh, and I'm not saying that it's this person yet we got to get the clarification cards in the situation we got to look into deeper I'm seeing that the officials and in the end this is the head this is the end 
I'm getting that they're searching. I'm getting that the officials may know something about this. Even though this one's trying to keep things in the dark and covered up, it could be that that's not what they're talking about over here. It could be something else. That's why we go for clarification cards. But what I'm seeing right now is there's somehow a snake in all this. There's a loved one that is covering things up. And I took it at first that they were covering up this mental illness so the police would take them seriously about searching for her, okay? And it could very well still mean that. But I get an official, I get the official knows about these mental health issues, okay? And maybe the attempts on suicide. But they're, I get right now they're searching. So we're gonna go in for clarification and I'm gonna first go in for clarification on the situation, which is these three cards, okay? I'm asking my ancestors for clarification on the situation regarding Mary Lane Carter. Clarification into the situation regarding Mary Lane Carter. Okay, so, like I said, this is the main part of the, si this is the situation, these three bottom cards. This is the main part, this is what we gotta look into deeper, and this is in the secret position, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sip here. Okay, so in the main part, I'm getting they know. So somebody knows, whoever's involved with either searching, because I get the searching card in the end. I'm getting that they know. So I think people were aware of this mental health issue. And maybe they know, you know, what she was thinking, what, you know, maybe they know about the suicides attempts. They, they know about the mental health. They know about this illness, which I believe is a mental health issue. But there's people that know about this and that how she, and know about how she was feeling. Okay. So over here in the position that's in the secret position okay in the, the situation itself we got a snake and I got unsafe so I don't know why the unsafe is coming out with this snake unless this is somebody that she is now with that she is unsafe with okay but like I said once we get into all the clarification cards and then see these cards these cards I don't know what they are I don't know what they are those are cards that flew out and you know cards that fly out of the deck when I'm shuffling I believe it's the person I'm reading it's something they want us to know that they don't think is going to come out in the read okay so in the situation it's part of the situation we got to look into deeper we get the official and a distraction okay so something about the officials and they're talking about a distraction so there's some kind of distraction going on okay but this is a little bit concerning okay because there's in the secret position, there's a snake and she's unsafe because of this snake. Okay, so let's get into the clarification cards on the messages and this should all come together and make sense. So ask the ancestors for clarification into the messages regarding Mary Lane Carter. Ask the ancestors for clarification into the messages regarding Mary Lane Carter. Ancestors for the message, the clarification into the messages regarding Mary Lane Carter.
<clears throat> okay. So here's the clarification cards, okay? So in the head with the suicide, which I believe is a mental health issue, okay? Or she may have tried to commit suicide. We got the cardinal, okay? That's coming out with that. Now, the cardinal comes, it's a spirit bird, okay? As everybody knows, this is a spirit bird. And it comes to, to warn us, and it, it brings messages that we need to know. This The cardinal comes out to tell us things that we need to know, okay? Brings message from spirit, brings warning messages regarding relationships, whatnot, okay? So I'm seeing that at the head. So I don't know if there's been some kind of warning signs that were given regarding this mental health suicide issue that she was going through, okay? So now with the cheat, I told you what I thought the cheat meant in this. I feel like she felt she was cheated in something in life, okay? She felt trapped, okay? So I don't know. See how at the end here it says dead end? She felt like she was at a dead end, okay? She felt cheated. So I don't know how bad this, this issue could be with the suicide and the illness, which tells me it's a mental health illness, and that people know about it, but I don't think they knew to what extent her feelings were, okay? Now over here, I told you what I thought this meant, that she didn't feel like, feel like she was worth anything, okay? But I also get the flowers card with it, okay? So with the flowers, I'm that tells me about appreciation, um, recognition, new growth. So there's something about, even, even though she was feeling like she did, wasn't worth anything, she wants to say that she she appreciates the appreciation and the recognition that I think she was trying to grow from it. I think she was she was trying to get past this illness, okay? And I think people knew I think people knew a little bit about maybe what she was going through, but I don't think they knew to the full extent. I think she kept some of that hidden, okay? I think she kept a lot of it hidden. I think she only told people the bare minimum about how she was feeling with this illness about herself, okay? And the Cardinal's coming to tell us about that now that it's a lot deeper than what she was letting on, okay? So now this is in the secret position, okay? So I'm getting something about a neighbor and something about a loved one. So the neighbor card could mean your next door neighbor, but the neighbor card also tells me about people that she was around a lot, people that were close to her, okay? And this loved one. So it's somebody that, that her and this loved one were very close to, people they were very close to, they're talking about them. She's talking about them, maybe um, these people are being told, okay? Because the Cardinal comes to tell us things we need to know. And I think in this situation, this illness with the, the, the suicide is in the main part of the situation, okay? So I think that the Cardinal is coming to tell these people that they don't know yet, okay? Because this is in the secret. We don't know this stuff yet. The Cardinal's coming to tell them that this was a lot worse than what they thought. Okay, and she's telling that, that to the people around that are very close and around her and this loved one. Okay, so, and with this being covered up, I think maybe they have came to know about this now, have figured out that it was a lot worse than what they thought. And I think they also have found out that she was doing things that maybe she shouldn't have been. This, the drinking problem card tells me either somebody has a drinking problem, a drug problem, or does something to excess. So I don't know if maybe she had a problem with prescription drugs that she was taking, and maybe 
thought that if she took more, it would help her faster, or I'm just getting it. To me, this is something with prescription drugs, okay? And they're trying to keep this out of the media, the loved ones and these people that were around her a lot. I think they're trying to keep that out of the media, away from certain people maybe that are going to say, she's fine, she just took off. That's what I'm getting from this. But I'm thinking she has met up with some kind of snake. Somewhere along her journeys, she has met up with some form of snake and she's not safe with this person, okay? I don't think it has anything to do with these people here. And these people here, I feel for them, whoever they are, the loved one and the people that are close to her, for trying to keep certain things away from the media because she is now missing and I think she's been classified as missing and endangered. Okay, she's unsafe. Whatever's happened regarding and there's a snake involved somehow. And I'm getting distractions. The officials are saying that there's been distractions been caused. Okay, and in the end we're getting they got to search farther than what they think they do because it's telling me about distance. She's a lot further than where they think she is. Okay. Now I've got nothing in here that suggests that she has been murdered or seriously harmed. I, I don't get that in this reading, but I do get that something with this snake and she's unsafe. So I don't know if she got speaking with somebody maybe that she met along the way or whatever that offered to help her with something or whatnot, but I feel she's unsafe. And this, don't forget, this here is in the hidden secret position. We don't know about this yet. It has not been brought forefront just like this. I think this loved one and people that are close to her are trying to hide some stuff. And I would say for good reason, because I feel personally, and this is my only my opinion, that law enforcement doesn't take seriously, especially when an adult goes missing that has mental health issues. And I feel she has mental health issues. Okay. And I think the loved one and neighbors know about it, but I don't think they know to what extent because I think she hid a lot of how she was feeling in that but she was feeling trapped and she was feeling cheated out of things in life and I'm not saying somebody cheated her like somebody cheated her out of money or a bank account or, or, or that's not what I'm talking about this is personal to her she felt cheated like she wasn't the person she should have been and I'm not speaking negatively. I'm speaking, I think she's feeling cheated because of these mental health issues. And she felt trapped, like she was at a dead end, that she didn't know what to do to, to make herself better. She felt like she was worthless, okay? Worthless, thrown away, worthless. But I also see her showing recognition and appreciation, okay? And flowers also means new beginnings. So I think she was trying maybe with this with taking more medication than she should have or taking things maybe she shouldn't have been i think she was trying to make herself well or trying to see if it would help make her better fast because she wanted I'm, I'm getting the snapping of the finger she want she wants this taken care of now okay and the officials are saying there's some distractions being caused somewhere, okay? So we're gonna go into these two cards that flew out of the deck and this is gonna be on the overall. It's gonna give us a little bit more insight. These are things that she wants us to know that flew out of the deck as I was shuffling that <coughs> didn't come out in the read, but she needs us to know. Okay, so to me, the perpetrator unhappy, I think she's telling us there's there may be somebody, like this snake could be a perpetrator, but right now she's happy. 
okay? So she's saying she's happy right now, but I'm also seeing a perpetrator, the perpetrator, the snake unsafe. I don't think she realizes that she's unsafe where she is right now. I think that this perpetrator is a snake. I think the snake is, is, they need to find her, okay? And I think that the last place that she was seen, she's far from there because the distance is telling me that they got to search farther, farther, keep going because she's saying they're, they're not close to her. Wherever they're searching, they're nowhere near where she is. But she's saying right now she's happy. So I'm not seeing that she's been harmed or murdered or anything like that right now. Okay, you guys? But I'm seeing she has some issues that I don't think she's realizing that she, whoever this snake is that's involved that we don't know about is a perpetrator and she's not safe. And I don't think she knows that. I think this person could be doing some shady shit to try and get her to believe that they're really going to help her with something but they're not they're they're out for something okay and that's in the secret position so we don't know about this yet but it's happening okay so they've got to find her soon and it's telling me this distraction could be this snake too okay distracting her away from where she was supposed to go because i'm seeing that they are searching for her but they got to start searching farther away because she's nowhere near where they're searching She's farther away. She's at a distance from there. But she's saying right now she's happy. I hope that whatever this situation is that's evolving with this snake that's going to turn into a perpetrator because I'm seeing the unsafe and perpetrator with this snake. I think something, some serious harm can come to her if they don't find her soon. Okay? Because right now I'm seeing she's not scared. She's not afraid. But right now she's happy okay so that's my read on her i hope this all makes sense and i hope that she is found soon okay now if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button so you're and hit the notification bell and please hit all when you hit the notification bell or you're not going to get some of the updates i guess i don't know what's happening with it but the the all bell has to be hit and that way you will get notified when I bring out new reads or go live quick because sometimes I do something happens and I go live real quick so please if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you like this read please hit the like button and share this out on social media where you can okay let's help find this lady and bring her home safely to her family okay so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye for now.